Hi everyone, um, this is Cass from Boom Gel Stain. I just wanted to quickly share with you um, a coaster kit that we've got coming out, uh, which is fantastic. So what it consists of is um, four clear acrylic discs and four of our felt backings. So this is the felt backing here and as you can see it's actually it's self-adhesive so that's got that um, coating there and then when you peel that off that's sticky. Um, this is our acrylic disc. Um, it's got a protective coating on either side so of course we're going to peel this off before doing our artwork. Um, the coating can be wide, it can be clear, so just be aware there's a protective coating on both sides. Now I've got some here that I've done previously, just so you guys get an idea. Um, so we've got so these, what colours were they? That's metallic gold, Bungara brown, I think some silver and woolly wagtail black. Um, again, same colour combination, just slightly different. Um, this one was, it's been chopped up by my puppy a little bit, bless her. Um, that's Mulga Parrot, Bungara Brown, Willy Wagtail Black, and I can't remember what else. Um, so I hope that's coming up in the camera. So what's so great about these is our artwork is underneath. So what that means is we can go and put our hot coffee cups on these without... Um, altering the artwork at all. So rather than having to look for a high temp sealer and all the rest of it, it's easy. We're just going to, and I'll show you how we do it. Okay, so this is, um, you can do a bloom or whatever, whatever technique you want to dip into, it's entirely up to you. And you don't have to dip, but by dipping into our artwork, we've got the acrylic disc on top to protect our artwork. So I hope that makes sense. So all I'm going to do, oh, the first thing you should do is just mark out um, the size of your disc. Let me just try and get that right. I should have done this before I put down my white. Okay, so these are 95 millimeter diameter discs, which is a standard, um, <coughs> cup size for coasters. Sorry, that's my puppy. Daisy. <laughs> She's, she doesn't normally bark. All right, so we're popping down our colors. Um, so far I've used Sterling Wax White, um, Mana Crab Blue, and what was my other colour? Oh, here we go. I've got some Bung Arrow Brown, which I love. So not too much because our Bung Arrow will overtake, um, given the opportunity. We say less is best. So I'll just put a little bit of that down. And I'm just going to layer some more on top of that. So like I said, I could do a bloom. I could do whatever. Um, but we're just doing a simple puddle pour and getting some movement happening and then going to dip our disc into it. Now I've actually done this on Binko art paper and the reason being um, some people find it a lot easier to lift up underneath but it's entirely up to you. This could be a solid um, tray, it could be anything. You can use your kitchen bench especially because Boom just wipes off so it's entirely up to you. Now I'm just going to blow around just to get some movement happening with my straw because I want to keep my head out of the camera. And remember I want to make sure that I overlap that line because that's the diameter of our coaster. Now I'm just going to spin this around. I hope I'm still centered, sorry. Actually, I'm just going to lift it up and I'm just going to blow with my mouth rather than a straw. So you'll just miss that for a sec. So all I'll do is I'll put that there for you to have a look at. I'm 
You can hear me blowing, sorry. Let's just swap that back over. Am I? Oh, okay. Alrighty. So that was just me moving it around quickly. Now, there's nothing stopping me from doing whatever, whether I go and add some swirls or whatever I decide to do. Okay. So this is just a quick demo, remember. So let's pretend that I'm 100% happy with that. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to grab my coaster, peel off this top protective coating. Daisy, no. Um, I'm gonna, so I just start on the edge. Oh my goodness. That's my protective coating coming off. Okay, I'm leaving the top one in place. And then all I'm going to do is dip down. I'll move that around a little bit, accidentally. It's difficult because I'm stretching across the table. So, all right. So it's just a simple dip. So of course, like I said, I could have a bloom under there, I could have whatever. Now it doesn't matter if I go and get boom all over this, because I'm going to wipe that down. Um, well, I'm going to peel the backing off, so it really isn't an issue. So that's why I keep that in place and it protects it. So that's what it looks like underneath. Okay, so remember that surface, even though it's beautiful, that will be the where my felt pad goes once I've sealed it. Okay, so let's pretend I've allowed this to cure. I'm happy it's had seven days to cure. I would get a spray sealer and just give it a fine coat. Then I'm gonna peel off my backing and apply it to my acrylic disc. So then we've got that beautiful protective layer there. My goodness, my dog rarely barks. She's a pup, actually. Okay, so there's that. So we're going to pretend this is cured. So if that had cured, I'd then go and just wipe over my edges, give it a spray seal, add my felt backing, and this, of course, would all be dry. So we're just going to pretend that it is and hope I don't smush it everywhere. Oh. Because it's wet, I'm, I am making a bit of a mess. Hang on. That should be easier. Okay. Let's try that again. So I've got my protective backing. Now just do it on the edge. Let's have a look. Voila. Now isn't that cool? So that's going to dry just like that. So we don't need to worry about resin or anything like that. We've done it completely non-toxic, heat-proof um, acrylic drink coaster. Now, this is using Boom, and I've tested it out. Um, I've had my hot coffee cups sitting on, sitting on the coasters. Um, I've actually topped up my cup a couple of times or swapped it over, and it was perfectly fine. If you're using standard acrylics, I'm sure a lot of them will be fine with that as well because this is quite thick. However, please test it first. Um, I don't want you to go and waste um, money. So just test it. But with Boom, I can sit my coffee cup on there and the acrylic disc stays fine. Um, it's not affected at all and the Boom is not affected by the heat transference. So it stays lovely. There you go. Thank you.